Hi, welcome back to the cabin. We're the Nor'eastern Girls and uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, Nancy's Sunday dinner on the wood stove and also that uh, we went down to the river and installed a fire pit down there which is going to be great uh, especially since the cold weather is uh, upon us. Uh, Wednesday is supposed to be feel like minus seven so uh, yeah all the fire we can get would be great. So um, that's what this one's about and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Hi everybody making a Sunday dinner here. Um, going to be a beef stew. It's about lunchtime, so I'm going to start it so it can be on all afternoon. Uh, using my uh, Aunt Sheila's old pot. At uh, one point my cousin Aaron had moved in with me and I brought this pot and uh, I'm not sure if it was given to me or if I stole it, but I love using it. It's very burnt and but it gives the best flavor in stew uh, for stew and also spaghetti sauce anyways I got some olive oil in um, didn't do this too fancy because um, just want it to be pretty easy so I'm gonna put the stewing beef in normally you should just do one layer and brown it um, but I'm too lazy for that so we're just gonna put this in and it'll take a while to brown up um, and then I'll add in my other ingredients so just prepping for the stew here, but I want to show you, um, this is one of my favorite knives. It's a Ulu knife, and I got this uh, in Alaska when I was up there. Some of you will know the story behind Alaska. <laughs> uh, quite humorous, I won't get into it here. Anyways, it's really awesome for cutting up veggies, and it just fits in your hand perfectly, and then you can just... Cut it up. I'm not the best uh, chef in the world, but it really does a great job of cutting things up. It minces garlic, cuts through meat. Um, I think some people in Alaska or hunters will even use this to butcher a like wild game, so moose or whatever. They'll use this knife almost exclusively. So I'd highly recommend that you get a new little knife and the cutting board if you get an opportunity. You won't regret it. So it's not that cold out today, but we have a roaring fire, so we can cook this stew. So it's hard to get it brown very well. I should have let the oil heat a bit more. Anyways, I've now added uh, onion and garlic. There's salt and pepper, a bit additional garlic powder. And I'm going to add in the veg. So we've got carrots, baby potatoes, celery. And then I'm going to add some seasoning in a bit. It'll be Italian seasoning, some Worcestershire sauce, um, beef bouillon. Um, we try not to add straight water to anything. You always want to add something with flavor. Um, so anyways, I'll let this cook down a little while. I'll add a little more salt and pepper, and then I'll uh, add in my bouillon. And then we'll uh, let that... Uh, oh, we've also got to add barley, too. Um, but for right now, we'll just let this cook away for a little while. Okay, so we've got the water in. just want to show you, Karen and I, and we may have mentioned before, um, or decided to use all our, um, good, um, plates and serving ware and that type of thing. And this jug was my grandma, Annie Mae McMillan's. Um, jug that I remember as a kid um, being filled with tomato juice. Anyways, use this all the time now. I think it's a legitimate piece of china. Probably worth a lot of money, but uh, I just love using it every day. And uh, I'm going to add in some barley. Um, this is not a keto version of <laughs> stew. Um, we will, I will do another version, another video that's a keto version of this, which of course will not have the potatoes or the barley, um, but this one's going to have barley. And you always, I'm surprised at barley, you think it's not very much, so like I'm doing right now, I put more in and it'll probably be, uh, 
too much. Anyways, I'll throw a lid on that and uh, we'll check it in a hour or two. So we've been going for about an hour now. Um, it's looking good. Um, had the lid on to try and get the temp up a bit because um, we're getting roasted out in the cabin. Anyways, we'll check in in a little while. The dog's concerned about something. Okay, so we're about three hours in now. Just uh, going to see how, if the meat's getting tender. And it's it's doing pretty good. Um, probably go at least uh, another hour or two, I think. It might end up being done before I thought. So we may have an earlier Sunday dinner. Um, we don't usually eat till about 7 or 8 o'clock. But this is probably going to be ready by 6 o'clock. So we'll, uh, when it's done, we'll show you the final thing. Well, today Nance and I, actually it's the um, early evening, uh, we've decided that we are going to go down to the river and install our, uh, or set up our last um, fire pit right on the river there, get her going and um, see how we make out. But I just wanted to show you the gorgeous, the change of colors already. Just amazing. So we're going to make our way down. I think the dogs and ants are already down there. It's really beautiful at this time of year. Summer's my favorite, but fall is equally as nice. So Nance and I, mostly Nancy actually, had made this trail down here for us in the summertime because it's too hilly for us to get down. So she bushwhacked it and macheted it and the dogs go up and down through here too so they've stomped on it and cleared quite a bit for us. Beautiful flowers. Oh, yep, I can hear the dogs already down there. Haven't heard a splash yet, though. This uh, little trail can be a little bit treacherous after it's rained. And it rained a lot the other night. So this part is not too bad. It's the second part. Right here, as you can see. So I'm going to be very, very careful. Alright. It's the first part that's difficult. There we go. The dogs have made a nice little trail. They don't like to take the one that Nancy and I go on. So they've made this a little way to get down. But as you can see over there this is the most treacherous part. Nancy filled this up with some leaves and debris, but it's still quite slippery. Oh boy. Ooh. Ooh. That almost ended badly. There's Johnny! And there's Nance. Hi, Nance. Hi, everybody. Just telling them what we're doing today. As far as... Uh... The boat's almost underwater. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Let's take a gander at that. Oh! 
Need to get in there. And... Oh boy. <laughs> Lots of water there. Out. Let's see how my kayak is faring. Ooh, it's got the water's getting higher, eh? Yeah. Nice. And there we go. How was your trip down the hill? Oh, I almost fell down the little gully. But I just went with it. Probably be a bit jarring on the video, but anyway, let's show them where we're going to put the third fire pit. We're gonna which one? Well, I'm going to trim these down, but I think we'll burn both of the stumps out of here, and then yeah. we'll decide probably, I'm not sure which one will be our fire pit. We'll throw some gas to it, some birch bark and some wood, and hopefully we can get uh, a fire going to burn it out. And uh, I'm just going to start clip away all that green stuff. That's all growing up since we did that a couple months ago. Uh, so we need to get the stumps out, or they'll just keep regrowing. Anyways, catch you in a few. All right, so I'm back, and uh, Nancy's got this all burned out. Looks awesome, and it uh, feels good, too, because I'm soaked. And uh, just going to come over here. So this one I'm going to burn out, too, but we decided we're going to have the fire pit um, at the other one. But uh, we do know now for sure that this soil down here is perfect perfect moist black soil so we'll have to clean out more down here by the river and then we're going to put a vegetable garden in down here next year we'll have to fence it in for the oh the <laughs> wildlife beer the bear the Beaver. beavers <laughs> the moose any other animals that will eat it so we'll have to put some tall fence probably like six feet tall around it to keep the moose out and um yeah we eventually want to have enough of a garden that we can can things and be able to put it away for the winter and become more self-sufficient and not have to buy so much stuff at the grocery store so anyways that's the plan um the garden is probably going to be this way once all of that is cleared mm -hmm. and the soil's worked up. So that's a big job, um, but hoping to do that this fall so that it's ready to go for springtime. Anyways, we're gonna head back up to the cabin shortly and we'll see, see you back up there. Well, we're back at the cabin and uh, after um, a good night last night of Nancy's homemade stew, um, oh, it was delicious. And today we had some company um, with Sue and Don, uh, friends of Nancy's, and uh, went to the dump, saw some bears. Um, that was kind of cool. And um, going down to the river and putting in our new fire pit and also getting driftwood. It's been a heck of a long day today. And um, we're going to have a gourmet meal of wieners and beans fan favorite and um yeah we're just uh gonna chill and uh i just wanted to say a very uh warm thank you to my brother rob and his wife aaron and daughter riley for um getting us a wheelbarrow so for a, a housewarming gift so thank you very much that's very generous and kind so Thank you very much, uh, everybody, for watching. And uh, remember just to like and especially subscribe. Uh, that'd be great. Um, anyway, uh, everybody stay safe. And uh, until next time, we'll see you at the cabin.